everyone! Uh, today is Thursday and it's been a while since I've been on a Facebook Live and thought that today would make a great opportunity to show you a little something that I need to get off the workbench and maybe answer some questions at the same time. So if you do have any questions, feel free to um, write them into the comments and I will hopefully see them on my screen so that I can answer them while, we're, uh, do it, while I'm doing this live demo. And yeah, so I'm going to adjust the camera and get to soldering. So just bear with me one quick second here. New tripod, it's uh, very handy, but uh, it's its own technology that I have to learn and figure out. Just stabilize this, there we go. All right, so you can see everything here, all right? So I'm just going to start by adding a little bit of flux to my project. Now this is going to be a night light and it's been painted and fired already and you may notice that there's something that appears to be over the painting. I've added some um, box tape, just your regular sort of roll of tape because of the, the chemicals can affect the way the paint appears even though it's fired on and it's permanent it can still kind of mar the surface of it and gives it a funny look so it's just a little something that I do when I'm soldering a painted piece so I'm going to be using my little Hakko iron today so this is the one that has the adjustable thermostat or the uh, it's not a thermostat it's a temperature regulator and so first thing I'm going to do is just grab a little bit of solder and do a quick tinning around the edge Once you get proficient with this technique for soldering, it's something that you can add to your sun catchers. It actually adds quite a, a nice little finish to the edges of the sun catchers, and it kind of jazzes them up at the same time, which is why I use them on my night lights because it just gives that extra little bit of finesse to the edges. So again, just still tinning the edge. Okay, so I've got the front and the back tinned. The edges are still copper, so I'll just go around and tin those really quickly. If there's anybody out there watching me live, please go ahead and say a little hello in the comments or leave your questions there and I will do my best to address them. I might not have all the tools out right now to answer every single question, but I can certainly do my best to answer them verbally. Okay, so I just give that a quick second to cool just a touch. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start at one edge and I'm going to add a little bit of solder. I'm going to take a little bit more there. So I'm just looking to make like a little ridge. So now I'm I'm going to leave that one alone and I'm going to move over just a little bit. I'm actually going to keep, leave a tiny gap between that one and where I place my iron. Okay, and when it melts out, you can see it, it creates just a tiny little ridge right in the middle there. And if we add lots of these side by side, we get a very, very interesting effect. I have to take enough solder though, that didn't work very well, did it? I'm not grabbing enough, so I'll just come back and add just a smidge more. You can decide how much you want to add on to make it uh, how large of a bulge you want on each each little bump. And I'm just using my stick of solder here. It's just laying on the table, and I'm just touching the very end of it, grabbing a little bit of solder and putting it on. So that's one edge. Just let it harden for a second. So how well can you see that there? Not too well. The lighting isn't going to cooperate with me. The things we learn as we go with technology, eh? There we go. There you can see little bumps along the edge. And it just gives a nice little ruffled look. So I'm going to go ahead and do a few more of the sides here. Just open up some more solder to use. 
Now I'm actually doing something that I always tell all my students not to do. And <laughs> if any of you guys are watching, you'll you'll be uh, quietly in your own space telling me you shouldn't have your fingers there because if I drop the solder, it could fall on my fingers. Okay, so again, just adding the solder. Once you get proficient with this and you get used to the temperature of your iron, um, you can actually do this quite quickly. It doesn't take a, a very long process to do it. Now there I just removed some because it, uh, it all sort of blended into each other and you couldn't see the ridge, so I just took it off. So here we go, I'll add some more back on. Again, I added too much there, so I'll just take that off. Okay, so this is just a 60-40 solder I'm using. Nothing, nothing special as far as that's concerned. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. It's too warm, so I'm just going to change sides. Let's start fresh over here. I can go back and touch up the other one in a second. There we go. Very slow process, very repetitive. Just grab a little bit of solder and throw it on beside the first one. So there you have it. That's how we do the edges, just to be able to get that little bit of a fancy effect. Okay. So it's one, two sides done. Let's see how quickly I can finish up the other side. So this side, it's the one that I already botched up. So I'll just take that off. A lot of people stress about soldering. Soldering is so fun. It's so forgiving. Um, other than cracking the glass, there isn't really anything that you can do uh, that cannot be undone or fixed. Again, just adding the solder. Two more should do it here. There we go. Okay, I'll come back to this notorious side that's been giving me grief. Chasing my solder right across the table here. And there we go. You can see the ridges on that side too. So there you have it. Just a simple way of adding a bit of a fancy edge to your pieces. And it gives you a little bit of practice of control of using the iron and getting comfortable with that. So anyhow, I don't see any questions coming through. I uh, hope you find this helpful. Give it a try. And if you do need some more soldering tips, you can always go to my website, uh, www.livingsunglass.com. Right there on the home page, you'll find a sign-up spot where you can get access to the video. And then I'll send that to you through email. So uh, if you find this helpful, great. Um, let me know that you do and if you don't find it helpful then let me know what it is that you really struggle with with your soldering. Alright, have a great afternoon. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.